you're kind of looking for a way to not feel so bad about all that eating tomorrow, it's time to lace up your running shoes. Yeah, so the Thanksgiving Day race is just a few hours away now. It is the largest family running event in the world on Thanksgiving Day. WLWT News 5's Eric Zarnitz takes a look at what you can expect this year. Thanksgiving is a time for family. And while eating together is a long standing tradition, in this city, so is running. It's funny that kids who were in strollers doing this race 10 years ago are now driving mom and dad down to the race. This is the 105th year for the Thanksgiving Day race, and the first step is registration and packet pickup. It's the combination, so the anticipation for the race and then the anticipation for eating. Bob Ronker's running spot looked more like a busy grocery filled with runners. One day they'll be out there running with me too. He's super fast. We can't keep up with them. He runs like like 20 miles per hour. Getting packets, shoes, and even some last minute gear to prepare for the race. One that according to Julie Isferding, former Olympic runner and now race director, says even the weather can't hold back. We've had rain, we've had snow, we've had bitter cold. Tomorrow is actually a good day because there's no precipitation and it's going to be warmer than last year. And I know 29, 30 degrees is kind of chilly, but once you get moving, you're so happy. Temperatures will be in the 20s when the race starts. So tomorrow, even walking, like 30% of the participants will do, will eventually warm you right up. Run happy and, and enjoy the ride and walk if you have to. It's okay to walk. So that's my best advice. The good news is if you're still on the fence about whether you want to race or not, you have up until the race begins tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. to make your decision at Paul Brown Stadium. Reporting from O'Brienville, Eric Zarnitz, WLWT News 5. Well, it looks like fun. The Turkey Day race, a 10K walk and run. Family participation and strollers are welcome. For security reasons, though, any unattended bags, they're going to be taken from you. So just leave anything you don't need in your car. And here's another.